Namaste. We are going to do a, a very express yoga class. We're going to start seated on the floor, however that you are comfortable. So I know that we are playing and wearing so many hats. So I wanted to do a 30-minute uh, yoga class and followed by 30 minutes of floor work and shavasana. But if you just want to get your mojo back and strengthen yourself, set your mind up, mindset for the day, set your intention, this might be a wonderful to go to every time, every day, and to enjoy the way it feels to be strong and flexible and safe. I have my little Sarah here. <laughs> if you also have a teddy bear, a, a little stuffed animal or something that represents your little self that is afraid and needs safety in the universe, have him, have her nearby. And uh, welcome yourself on your yoga mat. Let's close our eyes and just drop in. How, what do you say? Close your eyes with me for a moment. Place your hands over your heart center. Today I want to remind you that no matter what, if you have a passion you would like to pursue, if you are pursuing your passion, keep going. And to remember that based in our memory, we may not have someone personally that we've met or we've known that is extremely happy and successful and healthy, you know? Maybe everybody you knew, they get sick when they get older. Maybe they're, you know what I'm saying? It's like maybe you don't have a role model. Maybe we haven't met in person a person that as successful as we wish to become in any area of our lives. And we have to create it brand new, you see. You can do it. You don't have to have an example. In real life, you can find anyone on Instagram. You can find anyone in the world to make your ideal self, your role model. So remember that you've got every quality you need, all the essential qualities to create that which you're looking for in your lives. It's, it's time. Let's put our palms together by our heart center and take a deep breath. Clarify your desire, what you're passionate about, and then bring your thumbs to your forehead and set your intention and say these words to yourselves out loud. I am capable, talented, in demand. I deserve success well-being, joy, and all good. And bring your hands back to your heart center, seal it in your heart, and bow to yourself. Namaste. Jai back one. We all come here to have fun and to succeed. We deserve it. Now let's come up to our feet. Let's practice some really strong, wonderful yoga poses in taking our time, standing in mountain foundation. We're going to use a block to go flow through the poses. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, bring the arms by your side. In fact, bring your hands to your heart center. Keep feeling your feet. Inhaling, arms up. Reach up, look up, and lean back. Exhale, hands back to the heart center on your own three more times. Forward fold this time. Keep your legs straight. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Arms up, reach up. Come on up. Inhale, lean back. Squeeze your buttocks and abdomen. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Good. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhaling, flatten your back and look forward. You can even put your hands on your legs. Exhaling, fold. Come on back up. Inhaling, arms up, reach up, look up, lean back. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Breathe in, arms up, reach up, look up, lean back. That's a mouthful. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhaling, flatten your back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Both feet go back. This time I'm going to use my block to place it under my forehead. And I'm going to walk the dog, pressing one heel at a time. Enjoy the stretch. Hands back with the part. That block feels so good. Go side to side with your legs. Keep wiggling your legs. Moving the shoulders away from your ears. You can lift one leg up. Lift the other leg up. Put both feet on the floor. Feet together. Heels together. Bend your knees and lift your hips. Exhale. Inhale. Look forward. Walk your feet up. Put your blocks further away and flatten your backs. Exhale, forward fold and bend your knees if you want. Arms up, reach up, look up. Exhaling, hands to the heart center. Inhaling, arms up, reach up, look up, lean back, squeeze your buttocks. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, flap. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good job with a block under your forehead. Feels so good. This time, press your heels to the floor. Lift the tail up. There's a flexion at the hips. You know, those heels may or may not touch the floor. My heels almost never touch the floor. My hamstrings are usually pretty tight and that's okay but I attempt to press my heels down exhale inhaling bring your knees all the way back push your hips back and put your forehead on the block and then come on back up into the down dog <sighs> forehead back on the block exhale and then let's walk our feet up, placing the block away. Now go put your feet as wide as your mats, outside of your feet parallel. Forward fold, push those knees out. Push those knees out, feet are parallel. You can even have the forearms, you know, just put your hands on the block. Knees are bent. And you're gonna go side to side, releasing the head. Open those knees wider. Push your hips back. Good job. Deep breath here. Exhale. Inhale, look up. Hands on your legs. Come on up. Reach up, look up. That's right. Lean back. And exhale. Hands to the heart. Feet together in mountain foundation. And we're going to process here. Feel. I want you to feel this. Feel the sensations throughout the body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze the abdomen and reach the energy up through the crown. Good job. Now I want us to enjoy a chair yoga pose. Remember this one? Inhaling, arms up, reach up, look up. At the same time, bend your knees, move your hips back, feet are parallel. Knees are behind your toes and you're looking forward. Breathe. You can have the palms facing forward. Keep taking, wiggle the shoulders back. Inhale, exhale. Keep going lower. Keep lifting the chest, moving the tail back. And then take the arms behind you, interlace a finger, inter grab a finger or two, move the chest open, move your hips back. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, put your hands on your lower back, straighten those legs, apply pressure on your lower back, on your sacrum, lean back, 
Squeeze those elbows towards the wall behind. Look up, breathe. It's a beautiful, yummy back bend. Keep the torso stretching. And then drop your chin, standing up. Inhaling, arms up, reach up. Exhale, release the arms by your side. Inhale, arms up, reach up, chair pose. Exhaling, forward fold, hands on your legs and release, touch the floor, straighten those legs. Inhale, flat back, hands on the blocks. Exhale, both feet go back and we're going to enjoy a plank pose. When we do the plank, we can have our knees on the floor, ankles crossed, or we can have those legs straightened. You can have your feet as wide as your mats, lower your hips, but tighten the abdomen, lower your chest, but keep your arms straight. Look slightly forward, the neck is long, tighten and hold. Now we wanna bend, uh, put the knees on the floor, push our hips back a little bit. We're gonna look forward and as we move back, we're going to slide our chest down towards the floor and we're gonna push into our hands lifting our chest and we're going to press our feet and thighs into the floor lifting the chest up exhaling pushing back curl the toes under move your hips side to side and then we want to lift into the downward facing dog we're going to walk the left foot up an inch or two we're going to step the right foot all the way through our hands and we're going to ground the back foot all the way down, but we're going to bring the back foot all the way to the edge of the, block, the mat. The front leg is bent, is 90 degree, and we feel stable. Now come on up with me. Come on up. As you come up, fix your shirt. <laughs> Bend your front leg. Turn your torso all the way forward towards the front of your mats and then add those beautiful strong arms up like a big V and firmly press into your back foot, firmly press into the front foot, breathing in deeply, <sighs> exhale, take the arms behind you, open the chest and straighten the front leg. We're going to turn sides, we're going to turn to the other side. And we're going to turn the left foot all the way to the left, right foot all the way to the right corner of our mats. And we're going to turn the torso directly forward. I'm going to bend the front leg more and firmly press into the back foot more. Add those strong arms and feel. Feel your body enjoying this stretch, this empowering posture. Really activate all your muscles. Arms, palms facing forward, spread your fingers wide, breathe deeper and deeper. Face is calm and you're gazing upwardly. Excellent. Release the arms, grab a couple of fingers behind, open the chest, look up, straighten the arms. And that's enough. Hands on your hips. Turn the feet to the same direction. I want you to put your feet in the parallel way so your knees won't feel awkward later. It, they won't feel bad now if you turn your toes out. But in the long run, what we're going to do is we're going to make the feet parallel and we're going to reach the arms over the ceiling or the sky. And we're going to exhale forward fold. Touch the floor, release all the way, straight legs. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold, stretching the legs. And now we want to flat back, heel toe in. Put our hands on our legs and go side to side, feet parallel. Good, come on up, squeeze your legs, reaching the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, feet together in your mountain foundation, hands to heart. Breathe. 
Fantastic. Now I want you to balance all of your weight on the right foot. Take the left foot off the floor and place it outside of the right foot. Keep your hips nice and stable and square. Breathe. Whoop. You lose weight, you lose the balance, just go right back. And now we're going to switch sides. Taking the other foot to the outside of this one. Hold. Hold. And now I would like to ask you balance your weight one more time on your right leg. Now I want to ask you to release your hands alongside you. Bend your back knee, grab your left foot. And now I want you to forward fold and lift the back leg, stretching the quadriceps on the back leg. Challenge yourself. If you want, you can go where there's a table and hold, you know, hold onto the table. Maybe go by the wall. But stretch your quadriceps, these four beautiful muscles on tops of the legs. And I want you to stretch them. Breathe. And then at the same time, you can enjoy balancing. Balancing, practicing balancing every day is very important. Breathe while you're focusing. Holding onto the wall or a table is not considered cheating. All right, don't be minimizing your hard work. Keep going, keep practicing it a little bit longer. And then when you're ready, take a break, the second side. You can bend the knee that you are standing on. And that's awesome. Good job. Enjoy walking on your mats, taking some deep breaths. Excellent. And then moving your hips around, feet parallel. Make sure you have your feet parallel. Moving your hips around and go to the opposite direction. And now we want to come back to the mountain foundation. Inhaling, arms up, reach up, look up, lean back. Exhale, forward fold. Make sure you don't put your weight all the way to your heels when you forward fold. Forward, forward fold. Okay, don't go backwards. Go forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, downward facing dog. You don't need the block under your head. Let your weight, let your head just drop heavily towards the floor. Good. Feel that elongation alongside your spine, shoulders away from your ears. Use the strength of your abdominals to lift your hips up, pressing the heels down to the floor. And child pose, knees wide open, push your hips back, go side to side. From here, place your forehead on the floor and just let yourself rest. Let your shoulders take a nice relaxation rest. Hmm.
Whenever you're ready, lift the head, massage your forehead. What we're going to do is we're going to bring our blocks with us. We're gonna slowly come to a seated posture and we're going to bring the block. We are going to place our feet in front of us. And we're gonna place the block inside of the legs and hold on to the outside of the legs and we're gonna lift our legs off the floor and we're gonna squeeze the block, squeeze our arms and find the balancing on our sit bones. You got it. Breathe here, shoulders down, abdominals really active. When you find yourself having momentum, little by little, let go of your arms or uh, quickly. <laughs> Stay here, tighten the abdomen. We need abdominal strength, lifting the chest. You can grab your thighs and regroup your spinal muscles in your spine, vertebras, and then reach. Squeeze the block, squeeze those abdomen, hold. And now release, feet together. That's right, forward fold. So, so good. Releasing the back, releasing the hips. Make sure your feet are aligned and they're even, okay? Don't have one foot ahead of the other. Just put your heels together. Hold, hold, release. Hmm. And now come and sit up. Take your arms underneath your knees grab your ankles and or you can grab your feet from inside whatever that would be good for you and and lift up and balance on your sit bones feet together take a deep breath in and release now cross your legs and, and hold, go rock from side to side. Put your knuckles beside you and see if you can lift your hips off the floor. Squeeze your abdomen, tighten the arms. I'm on my knuckles, so put your knuckles down. Firmly press into your knuckles and squeeze your arms. Abdomen, lift, hold. Come back down and then forward fold. And enjoy the way it feels to like release your hamstrings. Perfect. We want to slowly move on our backs, enjoy a couple of more floor works, uh, stretches. We need a strap and then we need our props for Shavasana. If you don't wanna, if you don't have a, a strap handy, that will be perfectly okay too. We can still do the poses without the strap, but I think you'll enjoy it a lot more if you have a strap handy. So we wanna lie on our backs, cross our right leg over the left leg, and then get the strap ready. We're gonna lift our head and neck, and we're gonna throw that strap around the left foot, and we're gonna flex the feet, and we're gonna hold and tighten, breathe, flex our feet. Hold, hold, and then we can also put our heads on the floor, but I wanna activate my abdominals, my neck, my, my legs, everything, my arms, my back. I'm gonna hold, pull that leg towards you and squeeze the right leg away. Hold, hold, and then release. I'm gonna switch legs. You ready? Just gonna switch. Put the other foot in the strap, cross the left leg, and voila, we're gonna get up, lift the chest, hold, squeeze those legs, flex those feet. Good, good, good. Some days it's cloudy, and I get the yawning going on here, and nothing will help, hold. And now I'm gonna put my head on the floor and hold this leg. Hold the pose, hold the pose. And now I'm going to release. Oh my goodness. Now I wanna enjoy, I'm gonna show you a beautiful restorative pose with a strap. I'll show you this. 
And I know you all have a strap, a D-ring strap. I've seen them. But if you don't have it handy, it's okay. I'm gonna make that loop. I'm gonna show you, and then I'm gonna show you something instead. Instead, you can take the legs up the wall, really, already. So I'm gonna make a loop, and the tongue of the strap, when I make a loop of the D-ring, I have this towards my body, and I'm going to place the loop under my upper back, under my armpits. You got it? So I got this thing under my upper back. Now I am going to put both feet into the strap. I'm gonna bend my knees and I'm going to pull. I'm gonna bend the knees a little bit. I'm gonna pull, whoops, I think I did it too much. I'm gonna pull the tongue, like tighten it. And then I'm going to add, press my feet into the strap and I'm gonna relax here. Oh, this is the perfect position to read a book in like a paperback book or you're gonna f drop it on your face on your nose <laughs> but releasing the whole body it's a fabulous stretch for not only your hamstrings it's a quiets the mind and also your muscles under your arms your back muscles get the release if you have knots in your upper back it's fabulous so go here and squeeze those legs it's fairly tight, so it feels good. It's good for your feet, ankle, knees. Breathe and relax. You know, the other day it dawned on me that I don't have to be talking the whole time that we're doing poses. Duh. Okay, so I'll be quiet for a little bit. Breathe. I think I'm ready for Shavasana. How about you? I want to relax, slowly bring the knees down, and I want to hug myself. Please do that with me. Hug yourself. Rock yourself. And then I like to use a block to do some rotations. So squeeze those knees into the chest. Squeeze the block right underneath your leg bone. And then as you twist, notice how much twist you need. So you move the block away if you need a little bit more. I want your shoulder blades to please remain on the floor. And knees together, reach the opposite arm, turn, look at the upper hand, at the upper, the, the back hand. And then you can straighten the upper leg, get a deeper stretch and an outer uh, IT stretch as, as well, IT band and the outer thigh. And I want you to breathe, and as you exhale, I want you to keep your stomach area really tight to support your back. Good job. Bend your upper knee, squeeze those knees into the chest, and rock side to side. It's 
And then switching sides. All right, good job. Right before Shavasana, let's twist and release all reminder, fear, anxiety, stress. We want to claim our power always. These rotations are very, very purifying, very healing, cleansing. They increase our self-esteem, self-confidence. The uh, inner child healing is very, very um, important that we do the rotations. Second and third chakras, lower abdomen, upper abdomen. Keep them really active. I have a firm grip on the upper leg. And yes, you can straighten your upper leg. And this always reminds me of Rebecca Thompson. You love to stretch this hamstring like that. Take a deep breath and release it. And then slowly bring the legs back to the center. It's a very good idea to rock on your back and hug your knees after the rotations to help your vertebrae settle back down into their appropriate place and help them reset and relax. And then let us enjoy the Shavasana in our own ways. You want to place a bolster under your legs. You want to cover your body, cover your eyes. So set up for Shavasana. I'll do it with you. I'm going to put my jacket on. One of the, the uh, props I have not introduced in a long time are the small sandbags for our palms. So if you're really petite and tiny, you can use them for your belly and just put them on your abdomen and breathe. Otherwise, let's use two if you have any for your palms, which helps regulate emotional healing and relaxation, balancing the body, so many ways. So I'm going to show you. So otherwise, you can keep one on each side. I'm going to cover my feet. And a scarf for my eyes, another Blanket for my body, a blanket under my head. Awesome. Tidy up, organize, cover the body. That was really nurturing to have some heavier blanket over your heart center. Now I'm going to put the sandbag right on my right palm. My palm is, see if I can manage. There you go. So you put sandbag over each palm. And of course, I forgot my eye pillow. My, <laughs> my cover my eyes. It's never too late. You have the time and you're worth it. You can, if you don't have all the props, well, it's worth it. A little adjustment, getting to get it, or, oh, it feels so nice. Giving yourself, your body permission to 
to just let go. Like a luxury most people don't take advantage of. As you relax your body, think of nothing. Feel your body resting on the floor. Deepen your inhalations and exhalations. And just let your mind drift. Bring your attention between your eyebrows. We want to rest in silence for 10 minutes, thinking of nothing. Just keep coming back to letting go and the breath. Just let go of the breath. Let go of everything and everyone. Focus on the brow center.
Now I want to ask you to swallow. Take a nice, slow, long inhalation. And a slow, long exhalation. Wiggle your toes, your fingers. Begin to gently move as you you woke up from a deep sleep. Rotate your wrists. Bring your hands over your heart center. Full breath here. Thank yourself for the time and the healing you created for yourself today. Bend your legs, move them closer towards your chest and rock them from side to side. Holding your heart reminds you of the vibrations of the divine within you. The divine love beats in your heart, shines in your heart, broke to the side, take some luxurious moments to just rest on the side, and either side is fine, just to feel the safety, comfort, and the protection of this pose. Hmm. When you're ready, Slowly bring yourself to a seated posture with your eyes closed. Wrap your legs with your blanket. Wrap your arms around your upper body. Take a deep breath and release. Tap with your fingertips opposite shoulders one by one like tap your left shoulder with your right fingertips like one and then fingertips on the left hand on your right shoulder, switching one and one. There you go, and breathe. (sighs) Do the same between the eyebrows, the temples, underneath the eyes, under your nose like hammering in one hand after the other, under your lower lips, your heart center, go to the top of the head, between the eyebrows, outer corners, under the eyes, palms together, bow to yourselves, your thumbs to the forehead, come on back up, remember your intention, Each time you find yourself in reaction, any time that you get frozen, you avoid, you, you, you have aversion against seeing somebody or going someplace or whatever, those are all reactions. When you choose a small life versus a, a, a free, open lifestyle, those are reactions. When you feel like you are like, Uh, You don't want to apply for the job. You don't want to make the move. You don't want to make the change. You don't want to show up. Those are all reactions. When you feel that way, when you recognize you're doing that, replace it with your intentions. Let's keep going forward. Live our best lives. Hands to heart. Bow to yourself again. Namaste. I appreciate you each for doing this important work with me. Until next class, know that I'm always your biggest chill leader. Thank you so much. Until next class, open your eyes and come back. And if you have any requests for any classes, I always want to hear. And I want to create the classes for you based on what you need. Until next class, take care of yourself. Bye.